we have here a RL circuit with DC source. Here, uh, we put a switch at time is equal to zero, it will become closed. So making a complete closed circuit um, RL uh, DC circuit. So our goal here is to understand the behavior of a RL circuit. So from our previous lectures, we have learned about the um, Kirchhoff's voltage law, that is the summation of volt, uh, voltage is equal to zero, or the summation of voltage drops is equal to zero. So therefore, this is Vs minus Vs plus Vr, the voltage across the resistor, plus Vl, the voltage across the inductor is equal to zero. Okay. Here also, we would like to understand what is the effect of your inductor. Okay, so now um, it is beyond the scope of the subject, but we know in the electromagnetic class that VL is equal to L di dt. Okay, so what is um, L? L is the inductance. It is a phenomenon. It is a phenomenon wherein um, your current, okay, the, the current passes through the inductor produces magnetic field. Okay, so therefore, because of that current, changing current, because this is DIDT, meaning the rate of current, um, the rate of current, therefore, um, inductor is the property, okay, that, uh, okay, it's a property that induces, uh, I mean, it gives the uh, value for your voltage, meaning it in, uh, the current that passes through the inductor produces an electromagnet, uh, induced, sorry, induced voltage, okay, so that is VL, okay, so given this uh, KVL, okay, we can try to understand the behavior of the circuit, now, as I said, this is the rate of your current, okay, so meaning we will try to understand the circuit given the current or based on current, so this is the first expression, so we have uh, Vs, uh, sorry, this is your Vs here on the right-hand side, so we put the source on the other side. You can put it on the first side, so you can transpose negative Vs to the right-hand side. And then you have the Vr here, okay? It's very simple, that is resistance times current, okay? Plus LDIDT, so that's the voltage induced due to the current or changing current, okay? Now, if you have learned from your differential equation, this is variable separable, okay? You try to arrange equation such that you have that form, okay? Try to put your um, differential term in the left-hand side and then the other in the right-hand side. And then try to cross-multiply and uh, all the I of T. So here our, you can remember in your DE class, so you have DX, it should be... Um, x here is equal to dt on the other side or whatever constant here okay so can uh, so that you can do the integration okay so x here becomes the current okay i of t uh, current in terms of time okay so and uh, so these are l is constant by the way so it doesn't change that much can okay, also resistance r okay vs here because since this is DC, so Vs here is a constant, okay? Now, later on in our AC class, that will be sinusoid, okay? And and it's it would be difficult to solve using variable separable. That's why we try to understand it first with a DC circuit. Then try to arrange the equation such that um, the R, the coefficient R in the I of T will, is removed and... Uh, then you have that equation and also the negative sign, okay? So it becomes positive such that you can substitute U with Vs over R, negative Vs over R plus I of T. Then you have DU, okay, is equal to DI of T. And this is important so that we will have these um, equations here, okay, for your integration, okay? So... Negative LR, integration from U of 0 to the U of T. And DI of T is now changed to DU, 
actually you can put d u of t uh, and uh, u in the denominator okay so we replace this one here with u and then this one here with d u and while retaining the uh, coefficient negative l r note that we have this form in our integral class no you can remember integral of dx over x is equal to ln x plus c such that we have this following equation okay so we try to understand the circuit from 0 to t by the way okay so our lower boundary so if you plot your graph okay so from 0 to t okay so we'll try to understand the moment the switch is on okay what will happen to your current okay is it immediately becomes vs over r okay so because um in here um your resistor you see the the current passing through your resistor um, in a stable manner is vs over r in that case no so okay so what will be the behavior of your current is it immediately like this okay so when the switch is on it should be okay at a certain value here okay now uh, if you evaluate this mathematical expression here okay so you have ln of u uh, from u of 0 to u of t so you have this expression okay so the u of t here okay you just simply uh, uh, get the original substituted va uh, value for your u and that would be negative vs over r okay from here okay so that negative vs over r plus i of t and then u of 0 on the next term okay so i of 0 here okay instead of i of t and then you still have the negative vs over r now um, here we assume that that since the uh, the switch is off at time is equal to zero or it is on at time is equal to zero meaning uh, we can assume that there's no current at zero okay we can call it zero minus actually okay uh, the moment uh, uh, at point is equal to zero so it's kind of uh, uh, it's an idea no so that would be we assume that one is equal to zero okay assuming that initially the circuit uh, has no current no but the moment it is turned on at time is equal to zero okay so it should be clear to you that uh, there are three um, ideas here okay so we try to at time is equal to zero there's actually a value here a number that is very close to zero but it's not yet zero so we call that one zero minus and then there's also a point here after zero that is very close to zero we call that one zero plus so whatever it is because it can be uh, on the other side here we have um, uh, negative 0 0.00000000001 okay let's say that and then the other one is positive 0 0.00000001 okay so that's very small okay that we can represent this one as 0 minus and 0 plus okay you can find it out in some of the books you might wonder what is 0 minus and what is 0 plus okay so here in this case um, because we are dealing with continuity okay in mathematics is very important okay so continuity meaning the zero minus and zero plus must not change abruptly okay there, there should be no discontinuity okay for example you have this one no theoretically but in reality that should be like this no there's continuity there's no discontinuity okay so going back to your basic uh, algebra for example or trigo so that would be zero okay here and that will make the equation simpler okay so removing i of zero and then combining the two natural logarithms ln so you have the division okay and uh, putting the coefficient negative lr to the other side so you have negative rl and then exponentiate all okay? right so exponentiate negative ln so actually can be it's like canceling ln so you have the remaining 
term in the inside the ln, okay, and then the other side is in the exponent of negative rl of t. Okay, and then you have this expression if you look for your current. Okay, and that is your behavior in your DC circuit. What can you observe from your um, current behavior? You can see that um, this is your response due to the resistance, actually, and then the other one is due to your uh, inductor. 